Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with, with the Ardrus Moss. Today I want to talk about the uh, how I would change the Japanese tech tree. Um, and I'll, I'll probably talk about you know changing the American tech tree. But so we know that there's going to be a battleship split. The Japanese tech tree. Um, we don't know what the tier 7 is and we don't know what the tier 9 is. We know what the tier 6 is, we know what most likely is the tier 8, and we know definitely what the tier 10 is. So let's talk about that. So the ESA is basically a Fuso but with more armor, um, and then the Hyuga is the Ise upgraded, it's just an upgraded Ise. Uh, the Imagi is a Toza with the same armor, I believe, or slightly better armor, and she's a bit quicker. Uh, the Hizen is a 12 gun uh, Yamato. She has 12 410mm guns, uh, meaning that she will, would have. The heaviest broadside in the game, and you call you got the Yamato. I have been told that the difference of this line is they get enhanced AA, they get uh, a better relish of time, uh, better acceleration, uh, but the trade off is uh, longer reloads, less accurate, um, and I believe they also get more range they get more range than you know the uh, the, the uh, current battleship line so you can kind of think of it as like sniper battleships and then brawling battleships um, but also the Yamato I've been told that the Yamato is meant to have some incredibly potent secondaries um, this line is also meant to get um, uh, improved secondary dispersion which is interesting they've nerfed the main guns but then they've buffed the secondaries the AA is ridiculous as well I don't know the actual power of the AA but from what I've been told is they are basically just improved um, the Hyuga has 356's at tier 7. Maybe a bit weak, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I, that's what I presume is it could be the Hyuga, it could also be the um, the Mutsu, which is the sister Nagato, but the Mutsu gets torpedoes. There has been a few talks of the Imagi probably being tier 7, uh, but of course, you know, I beat my point uh, quite strongly. I basically said that is completely absurd because it would make the Nagato completely obsolete because the Imagi has 10 410mm guns the Nagato has 8 410mm guns put a Imagi at tier 7 would be absurd um, so yeah um, having a 12 gun a 12 uh, 14 inch gun uh, battleship at tier 7 doesn't sound bad if, you know, if they improved her reload, like say gave her a 28 or 27 second reload, then that'd be fine. Ize is basically the same. Ize is the sister ship to the Hyuga. Um, it's just that you know she has less armor than the Hyuga, uh, and I think a bit less AA as well. Um, so Ize can also. B, technically I think they're gonna add her in as her first modification without the flight deck so it's not gonna be the hybrid SA I think it's gonna be the dreadnought SA so the, the, the split will happen from the Congo it will go to the SA then it will go to I presume it could be the Hyuga it could be much as well, it could be some other way to sign. Then it would go to the Imagi, 
then it will go to I think is the Hizen because the Hizen I believe was the prototype to the uh, Yamato because it's it is literally the Yamato hull with different main gun setup. Um, uh, I I also uh, changed the uh, the the cruiser uh, from tier five to tier ten. What I did was I moved the Senjo to tier 9. So it goes Ibuki Sal, which is a Senjo class cruiser, uh, heavy cruiser, technically super cruiser. Yeah, it borderlines between heavy cruiser and super cruiser. Um, the Sal is just a slightly worse version of the Senjo. Um, that's what she was meant to be anyway, was a slightly worse version of the Senjo. And then the Asuma has nine um, 12.1 inch guns, so 310 millimeter guns. And then I changed the uh, the uh, the heavy cruiser line, so you know the uh, Agano, the A uh, Aoba, the Miyoko, the Mogami, you know they're all the same. And then we have the Tone, and then the Otago. So you know move the Otago up to tier 10. Uh, give the Otago mega buffs because right now the Otago even at tier 9 the Otago is suffering um, adding tone at tier 9 it's basically the Otago with one less turret so you know she has 8 uh, 203mm guns and then for the light cruisers I've had the Kenyu Kenyu Gaza Kenyu Gaza which I believe is a Yeah, it's an Aoba, uh, it's the sister to the Aoba. Uh, she does differ a little bit with AA and Superstructure slightly. Um, I know because I've got a book on World War II ships right here. And of course, we've got the Nati, which is the sister to the Miyoko. And then the uh, the su the the su suai, which is uh, sister to the Megami, I believe. Yeah, Megami. And then we got the the, the 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 Tikuma, which is sister to the Tone, and then the Maya, which is sister to the Otago. So, um. The only difference between these ships is even though they are sisters of the current ships, um, their ar armament, uh, armament is different. The su the Suzai the has 155 instead of 203s. The Nati same has 155s. Um, uh, the mayor, um, I believe, has the 203s. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to look that up. The Tikuma um, is the sister to the tone, but she has 155s as well. So this is literally a light cruiser line. Um, the the Kinu Gaza has 203s. Um, she gets slightly better AA um, and whatnot. But the Dati, the Susuai, the Tikuma, and the Maya, they all have 155s. All of them have 155s. The Miyoko, the Mogami, the Tone, and the Tago, they all have 203s. So you've got the Super Cruiser line, you've got the two Battleship lines, you've got the Heavy Cruiser line, and then the Light Cruiser line. I think this is how it should be. Um, they could branch it off from tier 5 and then add like a tier 5 cruiser here. I'm not quite sure what they would add there, but still, you know, hey. Um, I'll put this video up, see what you guys think. Um, tell me if you would change anything about this proposed, uh, you know, tech tree change. Um, I think super cruisers would be very nice. The only real super cruiser here is the Asuma. Uh, the Senjo is like a, um, it's it's like a um, um, 
like a poor man super cruiser and then the sow is like a heavy heavy cruiser the ibuki is called a heavy cruiser but she doesn't have heavy cruiser armor she's more like a light cruiser with heavy cruiser guns so yeah um we'll see how this goes really i think i've missed a ship Yeah, I have missed a ship. So here we go. Uh, go. What's it called? Um, didn't need to open that. No, close that one away. No, please go away. Thank you. Um, get if I just. Um, two, ten. Yoshino. So, Yoshino. So, Yoshino. So Yoshino will be tier 10, Asuma will be tier 9. Sanju at tier 8, that may be cause a little bit of controversy, of course, you know, she'll still be fighting against Musashis, Yamatos, you know, uh, Montana's things like that. Sao at tier 7 may be a little bit of a stretch. Ibuki at tier 6 would, <laughs> would probably work. Um, Ibuki has 10. 203s, uh, but you could probably cut the guns down. You could probably make the reader long for a heavy cruiser. You could probably nerf her accuracy a lot. I think this is how it should go. This is how the tech tree should look. Um, I will attempt, I will upload this and then see if any of the developers, you know, pick this up. But this is how it should go. Um, Hayugo would be pretty interesting. Hisen would be very interesting because they did say the tier 9 is a prototype to Yamato, which would suggest it's Hisen. Hisen was the prototype to the Yamato, so that'll be interesting. Uh, a Magi at tier 7 may be a stretch. Um, if they put a Magi at tier 7, then it's just it's going to be a nerfed Toza. But if Magi is a bit tier 8, then it's going to be a Toza, just a little bit different. Hayuga, if they add Hayuga in, then it's, it's going to be a, a Fuso on steroids. That's literally it. It's going to be a Fuso better in every single way. Um, better AA, better reload, better accuracy, better armor, better speed, everything like that. Um, I did talk about like main battery reload boosters and you know uh, engine uh, emerging energy boosters and things like that. Of course, you know a lot of people disagree with me, saying, "Oh, we don't need this, we don't need that." Well, it makes the tech trees different from each other uh, because if you just add in like like you know the Germans, the British, the French, and they don't have anything special about them. And what's the point? Um, one thing I will point out is they've said that they want to implement um, built in mechanics. So, for example, the Germans and the Japanese battleship split line will get enhanced secondaries, uh, basically, more accurate, more ranged secondaries. With I believe they have improved penetration, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then probably the French will get. Like maybe improved speed or something like that, or maybe a saturation mechanic or something like that. Um, and then the British will get some kind of useless mechanic um, because everybody, you know, craps on the British anyway. So, 
Um, I think that this would be a fantastic um, uh, tech tree change because right now the Japanese they need they need something different because right now they are bland they are suffering they are bland they are underpowered um, the only ship which fits really well into the tech tree is Hidaka. Fuso suffers because she either overpens a lot or she ricochets. Uh, same with Congo. Congo is a little bit more, a cons little bit more consistent because uh, I mean, is she really, is she really more consistent, or is it just like it feels like that? I'm not so sure. Um, for tier five British premium would be HMS Congo. I would love for it to be HMS Congo. Nagato needs buffs. Uh, Toza doesn't really need buffs. Hidaka needs a nerf. Um, I know that she recently, like really recently, received a nerf, but I think her secondaries need to be nerfed. Like nerf range or something like that. Musashi needs a buff. I know they're adding in Yamato, which is just basically Musashi, which loses the 203s, uh, gains a lot more secondaries and a hell of a lot more AA. Uh, for uh, more inaccurate main guns, which sounds like it just makes Musashi irrelevant. I sorry to say, but given Yamato improved AA, improved secondaries, uh, and some other things. Uh, improved redder, that's what's meant. Um, and I believe Yamato will have increased HP as well. That will make Musashi irrelevant. Unless they buff Musashi back to her original state, adding Yamato in when Mus you, with the same hit points as you know, the, the pre nerf Musashi, I don't know, it sounds a little bit, you know, odd. Hisen. If it turns out to be Hizen, then I'm worried because Hizen will basically be a souped up Montana at tier 9. It's a Japanese Montana, that's basically what it is. And the 410s, they hurt, they really hurt. And having 12 guns will give her the heaviest broadside in the game. I know everybody's going to be saying, oh, Montana still has the heaviest bullshit in the game. But if it's confirmed that it's Hizen, she has 12, you have to bear in mind, she has 12 410mm guns. Montana has 12 406mm guns. Hizen will have a heavier broadside than Montana. Now, I'm not sure about the pen. Um, I believe they would get reduced pen all the way up to your Yamato, and then Yamato will probably get the same pen as Mushas and Musashi. But you know, if they do get decreased pen, then it may make them more more like H E spamming battleships because they're obviously going to be sniper battleships because uh, you know they have increased main battery range, but they're more inaccurate. Um, will you once they release the full uh, st st statistics? Sorry, I struggle with words. Statistics of the battleships for technically <coughs> battle cruisers because they are technically battle cruisers up until the Hizen. Uh, the Hizen is technically a fast battleship. Because she is quicker than Yamato, because she's lighter. Um, you could def you could technically call her a armored battle cruiser. I know that's really weird to hear. Because then you'd be like, well, that counts her as a battleship. Well, not really, because a battleship is meant to brawl. Hizen, Hizen can't really brawl. We know that from. Um, what are warships? 
But the other thing is Hizen. Uh, I don't think Hizen would get torpedoes. Uh, because in Modern Warships, Hizen gets Shikishima. Uh, not Shikishima. Um, uh, what's the destroyer? Uh, Shimikaze, Shimikaze torp torpedoes, which gets like four of them on each side, like four torpedoes, but they hit for like a lot. But in Naval 1945, they will probably be balanced somehow, like probably like slow speed or whatnot. But if she doesn't get torpedoes, um, because you know you got bear in mind that this uh, battleship splits gets enhanced uh, secondaries well that's what I've been told um, it would most likely mean that she won't get torpedoes but if she does then that would probably mean that Hazen will probably just dominate um, everything like at range brawling everything like that um, I'm really interested of how the improved secondaries are going to work um, because they're meant to have improved accuracy and range. So, see how that works. Hopefully they're not going to be like laser. Because that's one thing that... Because uh, I was talking to someone that, you know, is has better connections to the developers than I do. And uh, I believe he said something like, they have laser-like accuracy on their secondaries. Or they're meant to have laser-like accuracy, which really concerns me. That really, really concerns me because that would mean that destroyers will get absolutely shafted. They will get absolutely caked by these um, battleships slash battle cruisers. Um, because the Issei, at the end of the day, the Issei is a slightly lighter version of the Fuso, and then the Hayuga is an upgraded Issei, so Hayuga is heavier than Fuso, and Maggi is a lighter version of the Toza, and then Hizen is... Hizen is interesting. Hizen will be interesting. If it does, if it is confirmed that it's Hizen, that's going to be really interesting. That's going to be super interesting, because the way that she plays on World of Warships is she absolutely dominates that range. Um, I know that the aiming system on Naval 945 is different to on World of Warships, but I don't know. Um, I do like how they've planned this out, you know, giving them decreased accuracy, nerfing their main battery accuracy. But giving them improved secondary, I can see where they're going with this. They're trying to make a brawling style of ship because the Masashi, the Hitaka, Toza, Nagato, and Fuso. Not really the Fuso because the Fuso is rather inaccurate range already. But Nagato, all the way up to Masashi, they are all basically snipers. Um, but given the new line improved accuracy on their secondaries and range it sounds like they're wanting to do like a mixed role for the class like more of a brawling kind of role but at the same time they want to make them more of a sniping kind of role because even though you know some people have said oh they have the same armor as the current line i don't really see that happening because why would you put in a new line of battleships which have not only improved AA, not only improved secondaries, uh, not only have heavier broadsides and whatnot, but have the same armor and have possibly the pre nerfed health of the current line. It doesn't sound right. It sounds like, it sounds like they're going to have decreased armor. Like the Hyuga is probably going to be the one to stand out. Because the Hyuga is probably going to have insanely strong armor. If it is the Hyuga, of course. Um, if it's the, uh, the the Mutsu, the Mutsu, the Mutsu is, is basically a worse Nagato. But Mutsu wouldn't really fit into the AA version of the battleship line. 
because you've got to bear in mind that they're adding this in for AA. So it's A, A is AA. Hyuga would be AA. Amagi would be AA. Hizen would be AA. Yamato would be AA. So I, I, I don't know. It, it, it does sound like this could work. Um, again, the other thing that's concerning to me is uh, some people uh, say that the Amagi would be tier 7. Now, a Maggi has 10 410 mm guns. I've already said this before, but I'm going over again. It has 10 410 mm guns. Put her at tier 7. They're going to have to nerf her to where she fits at tier 7. Um, and then at tier 8, some abomination will go in there. Probably probably the Asumo, which has 9 um, 410 mm guns uh, in triple turrets and 3 triple turrets. That would be interesting. Um, and then of course you get the Hazen where it has 12, which is, that is a massive broadside. 12 410mm guns is devastating. Um, a few people did suggest that the tier 9 could be the other prototype for the Yamato, which had four, uh, 8 460mm guns. Which is basically the Hedaka, but is more AA and secondary focused. The Hedaka already has good secondary, but adding in a version of the Hedaka with enhanced secondaries is fucking terrifying to me. That is absolutely outrageous to me. I, I don't see that going ahead. I really don't. The Hizen sounds fairly balanced. Except for the fact that it can basically blap any battleship off the map. Probably not Montana because Mon I think Montana had her, her armor changed. Um, something about you know Montana being easier to Citadel now. Um, so I, I have noticed that. Uh, you know, you know, I you know I was playing in my South Dakota, and I was actually able to smash a Montana in the side. Which, you know, a few months ago I wouldn't have been able to do it. But anyway guys, that's what I want to talk about. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Put in the comment section, do you agree with this mix around of the Japanese tech tree? Um, do you not agree? Would you have more things changed around? Would you add new um, line splits in would you remove a line split would you change anything about the lines would you make like for example the light cruiser would you make them more AA focused than the heavy cruiser line would you make the super cruiser line more main battery focused you know things like that anyways I'm going to see you later peace